Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. In this brief video, we will discuss XRP, XTC, and Quant, give you a brief rundown of the current US market, and finally, reveal the market leader among the sleeping giants. If you enjoy this kind of content and would like to hear my thoughts on these digital assets and market updates, then hit that like button and spread the word. CEO Jamie Dimon criticizing Bitcoin is he may have lied to Elizabeth Warren during his congressional testimony about crypto being a fraud and swindle, but now he's consented to play a pivotal role in BlackRock's BTC ETF. This is all part of the do as I say, not as I do dilemma involving the biggest US bank. Holy cow! Were we to believe he lied to us? There was no major change in XRP's price throughout the day. 62.50 cents at the moment outstanding movement, however, was more than 6% about 5.5%, or 13.5 cents, for the day. We will have more information about them here shortly. Here today, XTC is waking up a touch more than 3% on the day, and quite a deal higher, by 2.5%. While we see XRPL transactions experience parabolic moves for successful transactions, one of these four sleeping giants is about to burst in the next two to four weeks, as I shall share with you all at the end. Yes, there has been a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt, FUD, about XRPL recently, but if you check at the metrics and the XRPL data, you'll notice that everything is progressing swimmingly. The SEC has now publicly stated that they will inform issuers of the approval or rejection of spot Bitcoin ETFs. Quickly, no later than Tuesday or Wednesday. Here is the report, will a black swan event occur in the next several days? Many people are predicting that it will. In a survey I conducted, over a thousand people expressed concern that a black swan event could occur. A significant market sell-off, or black swan event, is unlikely, in my opinion, Euler. In case you were wondering. Now the largest name in fund management, Jamie Dimon, has been authorized as an authorized participant on BlackRock's ETF application. Keep an eye on the BRICS countries based on their actions, not their words. Russia and China are leaving the US dollar as their only trading currency. More than $200 billion ahead of time. Their currency has been demonetized, and the Prime Minister has publicly said that trade between the two countries is booming, with a bilateral turnover of over $200 billion. Forbes publicly stating this massive, unprecedented bank flip will reportedly cause XRP prices to rise, according to Forbes. Given that XRP's price has remained relatively stable over the past 30 days, I fail to see what they have to say about Nigerian banks. But a top contributor to Forbes claims that the trend is going to reverse, citing a critical move by the Bank of Nigeria. Adoption is occurring at a rapid pace. The decision by Nigeria to remove limits on bank crypto transactions might have a significant impact on the price of XRP, according to Forbes. Now we can get to the point, Stellar SDF is for Stellar Development Foundation, and its stated mission is to establish Stellar as the de facto standard for online payments worldwide. When they spend money on things like hiring an engineer, going on a trip, extending a loan, starting a Stellar Belt business, or even just paying their own rent, it is all with the intention of achieving this goal. Are we getting any closer to seeing this accepted as a payment standard, they want to know? To maximize their resources, we take into account all of their suggestions, and Congressman Crypto is on board as well. Along with Warren Davidson, Tom Emmer is introducing a measure to remove SEC Chair Gary Gensler. In order to remove Gary Gensler from office, we must more than just words, I am pleased to join Warren Davidson as a co-leader on the measure. The question then becomes whether they will increase the pressure on the top sleeper, and this mark is XRP. We have access to the data. We are witnessing the unfolding events. The majority of the people who have invested in XRP, so far, show no signs of leaving. Massive sales are not occurring. It would be wonderful to see a colony soon. Yes. Might it happen at any moment now? Yes. I still think this bull run will ignite XRP, though, because Solana ICP has been really active as of late. Personally, I think ICP will continue to do well long into 2024 but XRP has emerged as the market's biggest underdog. At XLM Wake Up, 
we noticed a 6% increase on the day after discussing XTC approximately a week and a half ago, and it peaked three days after. A lot of you are losing money, but I believe XRP is finally going to start seeing that movement. That is how people are completely destroyed, so hold on to hope. Regarding XRP, I am still really optimistic. Please share your ideas and opinions in the space provided below, I can see the future of this. Please subscribe, hit that like button. See you soon, bye.